I'm going to be talking mainly on social media. Uh, social media has been my f uh, second love after medicine. Uh, I practiced for 10 years, then quit uh, active practice in 2010 to start my first company, which was uh, Digital Medcom Solutions. It was it's, it was focused purely on social media and healthcare and medicine. And for that, I got awarded in 2012 for running this. Very very simple. So I will stick to that. Okay. So uh, why? Uh, how many of us here use social media in whichever form? All of you? Or how many of your hospitals use uses social media? No? no? See, uh, that's the point here. Uh, almost everybody is on so, uh, social media except hospitals and healthcare and doctors. For There are reasons for that, I understand. I'll try to dispel the myths around that and tell you why it is important. So why do we need social media, especially in India? Uh, we, so many of us online and 450 million plus. And one thing to note right here is, is this, uh, we are the second largest smartphone market in the world after China. Uh, till last year, we were Third, it was China, you are, it was China, US, and India. We have overtaken US. China is the number one. We are number two, and we would probably overtake China soon. Uh, the rise of Indic languages. Uh, the top uh, people who are going to be using social media have, have are already on that. Now the remaining two thirds of India, which is yet to get on social media, are all going to be using Indic languages: Gujarati, Hindi, Marathi, uh, Malayalam, and we have. Uh, uh, Indic keyboards for all uh, for all devices. So, uh, Indian languages are going to uh, get more and more important as time comes. Uh, increasing data usage. Geo did excellent for us. Uh, this data is not right outside right now, but uh, I heard from the insiders that we are the uh, largest consumers of uh, data in the world. In the whole world, nobody uses more data than us. Thanks to Reliance Geo. In the last six months, we, the number of uh, people using uh, using data on uh, mobile phones is drastically increased. Thanks, Jio. And Young India, our uh, average age is 23, 24. Oh, and all these guys, they all carry smartphones or they will be getting smartphones soon. So we need to be there. We need to be on the mobile. Not just social media, I'm, talk I'm talking about uh, on various devices also. Uh, so the main channels of social media which uh, I'll be talking about is not just social media but uh, digital channels for hospitals would be website, Facebook, email, WhatsApp, Twitter and then there are others. These are the top channels which a hospital or a healthcare professional should focus on. Okay. So, okay, uh, let's talk about Facebook first. Facebook gives gives you uh, a lot of reach, uh, a lot of reach. So, uh, in India, if a person who has a smartphone or has an internet connection, he's got, he's on Facebook, right? He's on Facebook. Uh, so, you have various ways uh, uh, a person can use Facebook. There's a thing known as a personal profile, which all of us have, which we use for your own self. There's a personal profile. Then there are pages. Business Businesses create pages. These are public pages which anybody can access these pages are most more of a marketing thing so you can have a Facebook page for a hospital where you only put out medical communications it's a more of a broadcast thing for the for the for everybody uh, you can create pages for free and then uh, boost them using some money uh, all of these things are basically free but you can always increase your reach by uh, spending as little as 30 rupees a day in 30 to 40 rupees a day uh, you can do excellently well uh, on Facebook. Then there are groups. Uh, these are uh, groups are uh, 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 more private than pages. Uh, they're, they're, they're less public than pages. So you have uh, secret groups, you have open groups, you have closed groups, groups where nobody else can see, groups anybody can join, groups where people have to come to you and ask for permission to join. So these groups, are, uh, a lot of patient support groups, uh, patient support uh, organizations uh, use groups, open and closed groups. Pages are mainly for hospitals and doctors can also use pages. Profiles are personal. Keep it to yourself. Do not discuss anything uh, medical on your personal profile. I uh, uh, sincerely advise against that. Uh, Facebook uh, 
I, I would like to spend some more time on the, on the advertising platform of Facebook. So, uh, what does Facebook uh, allow you to target? Now, if you want to target uh, genetic patients in uh, a certain locality of Ahmedabad, so what you do is you go to the advertising platform, it lets you search, it lets you tick out what you want. So, I'm looking for male and female, age 60 plus, locality, I can choose a locality uh, on the map and, uh, and mark 10 kilometers uh, around this location. Uh, 30 kilometers around this location and once you do that and then you uh, pay as little as 40 rupees a day up to thousands of rupees a day whatever you want and it will tell you okay if, if, if i'm spending 100 rupees today how many people in this locality uh, i'll be able to reach uh, of this age group you can go further down now if you, look, if you want to target them by interests age sex interest people interested in uh, healthy eating there are uh, ways to organize your segment your uh, Facebook audience like this and it's it's a very simple thing to do it's very, very easy just open if you go to Facebook on the side it, it says uh, create ad go to create ad start choosing your uh, your uh, the, the audience you want and you, you, they, uh, choose how much money you want to spend and Facebook will tell you exactly how many audience you will reach so I love Facebook. I've been using it for the last six, seven years professionally, meaning we spend around one lakh approximately per month on Facebook for our various businesses. And we get fantastic, uh, fantastic results. Uh, outbound, uh, there's nothing known as outbound ma marketing now, where you put up posters or give pamphlets and you know, hope people will come to you. That's not the way to market anymore. Choose who, who, who you want to market to, let it go there and let the patients come in. Let the audience come in. Don't go after the audience. Target them and let them come in. That's what Facebook lets you do. Emails, I want you to talk about... Uh, uh, <laughs> Keep your personal and professional emails completely separately. Do not use the same email to uh, talk about your business or your uh, organization and to your family. Please keep two separate emails. You can always uh, merge them later in the sense that you can forward from one to another, but keep them separate. Automated answers. So this is one of the best practices followed in the West. In the West. This is when uh, patients uh, patients email hospitals, very often they feel that the hospital doesn't even read, read their emails. So uh, what they advise is uh, that whenever a hospital gets an email, always have an automated answer, thanks for your email, we'll go through the content and get back to you soon. Have an auto so the patient feels, yes, somebody is taking care of it, somebody has, will, will go through it. If you uh, don't reply to emails, then it, 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 uh, rather don't have an email ID. If you don't want to reply to emails, don't have an email ID. Don't even put it out on the website. If you don't have an answer, why are you keeping it? So automated, automated answer is a good way to make patients feel that yes, somebody is reading it. Newsletters. E emails are the most one-to-one uh, -one, uh, connection we can have uh, uh, on online. It's the most uh, personalized connection. So you have, free, you have free services like MailChimp. Up to 2,000 newsletter, 2,000 members can be sent uh, weekly newsletters for free. Up to 2,000. That's MailChimp. I use MailChimp personally. I'll, it's very easy to use. Uh, you can uh, start sending newsletters to uh, uh, like in two hours. You can create a first newsletter and send it out. And free for up to 12,000 emails per month. I don't think we would need to send more than 12,000 emails in a month. You can start using MailChimp just tomorrow and start uh, giving out newsletters. Yeah? You can have uh, newsletters depend, uh, giving out services you offer, or any camps you have, or any CME you have, or uh, just uh, health information, prevention, de de dengue, swine flu. Send out a newsletter, man. It's simple, it's easy, and it gives you a great connection. WhatsApp. Uh, everybody has WhatsApp. Okay, everybody's got WhatsApp. Excellent reach, especially in India, even Southeast Asia, everywhere, Africa. WhatsApp was excellent reach. Uh, personal and professional. I would advise here again: uh, do not use the same number for your personal personal communications and for for your hospital or professional communications. Keep two WhatsApp numbers. No uh, issue. And especially now, uh, now that you have WhatsApp, uh, you, now that we have WhatsApp and web, so uh, I would advise keep a, a WhatsApp number just for your hospital, put it on the web, uh, and use WhatsApp on the web. In the sense that whatever you see on the on the phone screen can also be seen on, on the on the laptop. So uh, WhatsApp doesn't have to be on the phone only. You can uh, open a website called WhatsApp dot web uh, web, and then you have the same interface as WhatsApp on your uh, laptop. Much easier to type much easier to create groups, send out messages, answers, everything. Uh, 
then uh, you have groups and broadcasts. Uh, what's, WhatsApp lets you uh, make groups up to uh, 250 people or then it lets you create a broadcast broadcast list. So you just add all the numbers, send a broadcast in the sense that that is not a group. It, it goes to each number separately. So if I make a list of uh, say uh, uh, um, knee transplant patients that I've seen in the last uh, uh, one year, I make a list of that and uh, send a broadcast to all of them. So each, each patient will receive a message separately personally to him. It's not a group. It's uh, one to one. So broadcast broadcast list is a, a very different uh, easy way of using WhatsApp. Uh, then we have WhatsApp for business. It's not open to everybody right now uh, in India. A few uh, they, uh, they, uh, you have to apply to uh, get this WhatsApp for business license in India right now but uh, US is going on. So after that, uh, uh, WhatsApp will have a proper full-fledged platform to be used for businesses. That should be another great thing but it's not really open in India right now so I, I haven't tried it. I've been wanting to try it. Uh, so WhatsApp will be another excellent uh, thing for us. Twitter, uh, in, uh, Twitter uh, Trump has made Twitter famous I think. Uske pehle, not many people even uh, use Twitter but after Trump, uh, Trump's early morning and late night tweets, everybody is uh, using Twitter. History, in fact, uh, Twitter came up to be used to uh, call ambulances and fire brigades. That was the first reason Twitter came up. Twitter came up for an easy SMS way to find out where the fire truck is or where the fire is and ask for fire trucks and ambulance. That was the main reason Twitter came up. And now it's become uh, a major PR channel and mouthpiece. So uh, Twitter marketing can do but I don't think Twitter is a very good uh, channel for marketing. Twitter is a good channel to put forth the views of your organization out in the public. You don't have to go to newspapers and uh, 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 publish a statement. To a Twitter channel, a Twitter handle can be a very, very uh, uh, consistent and uh, uh, authentic uh, mouthpiece for your organization. So keep Twitter only for your PR. A reputation management, yes, because when you, uh, like photos in these hospitals, when they get into trouble, the only way they can save themselves is on the Twitter, what, and uh, get out their official position. It's a very good way of giving out an official position. So Twitter, you can use Twitter for marketing also, but it's, 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 it's uh, uh, too costly. It's too costly, I've tried it, and the uh, returns in India for on Twitter is not good enough. In India, it's Facebook. Nothing beats Facebook. Others now there's so these channels keep coming and going, coming and going. Now it depends if you have uh, if you are dealing in sexual health. I suggest you go to Instagram and have an account there also. If if you are only uh, dealing with old age patients, no no use going to Instagram. Stay stay with Facebook. So it, uh, they, uh, Snapchat, uh, Quora, these are other uh, other platforms where you can join. But it, uh, it all depends on whom do you want to touch with. So to uh, have your audience in mind first. Have a persona. Okay, okay, your ideal audience is a 30 year old male guy working in an IT industry. Where will you find him? You'll find him on LinkedIn, you'll find him on Facebook, you'll find him on uh, Twitter for sure. So you have to first make a persona of the, uh, in your mind. Uh,